What's up guys, thanks for tuning back to my channel today. If this is your first time, please make sure you don't forget to unsubscribe and if you've done that before, thumbs up. Okay, so today I'm going to be training you guys how to make the gun visual effect if you've seen on some of my videos on Instagram like this. Okay, like, so now you've seen it. So we are wasting time, let's get into it. I already have my clip here, which I'll be using. Um, this is a clip of Hong Christian Trails. You can go follow him on um, Instagram at Christian, Christian Trails. Here's a clip. <sighs> Let me just take down this thing. Oh, I just want to drop this down. Okay, you can see him move. And also another thing you need for this video is um saber. Uh you can check the link below this video so you can download the saber. It's just about two megabytes. Yeah, not that big. So um sorry about that. So all right, once you here right click new and select solid. Click OK. You can turn this off for now. But no need for that. Go over to effects, video copilot, and then select saber. Make sure you select that on the top layer, the white layer which you just created, and do that. Okay. So now the next thing you have to do is um come over here to the white layer which you've created, click on normal, and then change it to add. Add. You can also change that. There are other ways of doing that. Like if I want to change the set, you can come over to the saber settings come down here click the render menu and then um under composition setting yeah, from black change to transparent and then here you go so now the next thing you want to do is like you want to make this gun like move like once he fires the gun you want the fire to come out so you have to take it to the part where he moves the sound like i said this the bullet's coming out so let me take goes out. okay here I think here's the part. Okay, we're seeing a spot here. Here's it. So now, turn off the layer where the saber is, and then select the pen tool, and then draw uh, a line from here to I think here's good enough. Make sure it's straight or towards the gun position. Then now click on the white layer back which you created, and then go over to um, composition. Customize core, then select saber, and then change it to layer max. If you turn back the layer now, you can see that the saber moves back to the gun. Exactly, it moves back to the gun. So, but now I want to change that. That's not the color which we want. Color of a gun, uh, bullet looks normal like orange, something. Um, that should be good enough. So now. You might want to trim this up like so it starts from here. So just go on your keyboard, press Alt and open bracket to trim that so it can start from here. Then now let's animate this. We need to move like from like bullet move. So select the um, layer, uh, solid layer, press M on your keyboard and then click on stopwatch. Make sure it's at the beginning of the. Um, where you the guns about to move click the stopwatch and then move press page down on the keyboard and move if move um few frames forward and then drag the um bullet icon or the bullet uh marks which you created a little bit forward like this and then move again two frames and then you can now Take it to the end. If we play that, this is what get 
Oh, you can see that, but that was too slow. So we need to make it a little bit more faster. So let me like zoom into the keyframes. This was the first one. So I think I should just delete this middle one here. And then the last one too. So um, let me make it straight. Oh, sorry about that. Press Ctrl C if you make any mistake like that. Press on my keyboard. And this is the last frame. And I'll delete that now. So it goes back to normal. We all started. Next frame. Take it a little bit forward. And then the other frame. And then take it out. Make sure it's out of the screen. Completely out of the screen. This time, so you look fast now. So if I play this now, voila! You can see that it came out fast, like like it's a bullet. So now, now that that's done, we need to add our fire look, like the gun blasts that comes out from the mouth of the gun when you right fire a gun, like that you saw in the video. So if I go back to my um, project, I already have one here, which is the gun muzzle. You can see it looks like a fire from the gun. So you have to just click on it and drag it to your work area. And then let's bring it here. Oh, it's a little bit long. Okay, that's because I zoomed the layer up. Let's bring it here. Okay, so if I could play if I play this now, okay, you see like it's very fast. Very fast and so and it's facing the other way so we have to turn this back so uh click on the flash layer and then press R on keyboard and then rotate this until it gets to the desired side or angle then now remember what i say about changing black layers to so that the object here we've seen click on normal and then click on add and you're good to go here it is so um, this is a little bit too big you know to scale this down press s on your keyboard and then reduce this down 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 um i think this is a little bit too big too so uh, this will be good enough okay here is good enough so now if i play this now and oh if i play this now Okay, I still need to rotate this so it looks much in accordance with the scene. I think down. Okay, here, here it goes. Okay, that's good enough. If I play this now, and yeah, you go. Now got a gone like a gone side effect stuff. Let me just trim this this area so you can see this alone. So trim come to come to work here, which means I just trim all the judges, but you just be watching just this particular part of the clip. Trim again, right click, and then trim come to work here. So if this is play, you can see how it goes, it's just like a gun. And that's all you need to get the gun effect. Okay, guys, um, I hope this was helpful, and um, thanks for watching my video again. Hopefully, I'll be posting more tutorials soon. And if this was helpful, please guys, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I'm posting more tutorials, and if you haven't, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you don't forget to subscribe. Um, hopefully, I'll see you guys next time. And also, don't also forget to check the link below this video. I'll be posting other tutorials, um, like the um glow effect, different kinds of tutorial. Make sure you don't forget to check out because some of them got um, um some free plugins you might be needing, which you will be needing for your videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you guys next time.